At this market in Idlib, prices are on the rise. Many customers here are struggling to afford even basic food items. People are buying less than half of what they used to. The situation is making people desperate because of high prices, but also because of lack of services. There is four million people living in this province of northwestern Syria. More than half of them have been displaced by the war. They rely on international aid, but far too little is getting in, and much of it is controlled by the government put in place by Hayat Akhil al-Sham. Since late February, hundreds of people have been taken to the streets to protest against this Islamist group and its powerful leader, Abu Muhammad al we went out against Bashar al-Assad, so we can go out against others. The lies these people feed us are outdated. We have one demand, the overthrow of al-Julani and the appointment of someone who will live through the pain of his people, achieve its goals and provide us security. Amid these unprecedented protests, Julani is now promising reforms. Some have suffered under our authorities' discipline and question it. But some are also exploiting legitimate grievances and recent incidents. We're trying to make this ordeal that has befallen us an opportunity to listen to our family and brothers who have many demands. The leader of the group claims he's ready to step aside. But people on the street are not convinced. They say the authoritarianism in Idlib has become all-pervasive. There's too much corruption in the security services. We demand the overthrow and complete dissolution of the general security service as well as the release of all individuals held in prison. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham has recently carried out a purge in its own ranks and cracked down on rival factions. In a report published last September, the UN Commission of Inquiry in Syria concludes the group engages in arbitrary detention and grave human rights violations.